Nonny, let's let's discuss starting petitions because I know many people who want to start petitions, but then they just lose interest. How mm. does one start a petition on change.org? So it's pretty simple. Um, basically, if you are used to posting anything on Facebook, <laughs> oh god, you, know, you go in, you write the text, um, you put a title, Dude. you put in an image. It's really, really easy to use. It's it, essentially, if you're a social media user, you will not struggle with this platform okay. at all. Um, I but. think I think where it gets interesting is getting the signatures. So starting the petition is not complex. So anyone can start a petition about anything. There's no checks or balances. There is checks and balances Thank around goodness. defamation. Because I know, I mean, the people I know. <laughs> speech and, yeah, so who, who checks the, the, the petition before it goes live on, on change.org? They're moderators. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. So you have product moderators, but also as the country team, we do get certain flags and we can look at certain things and maybe in some instances flag it in a specific way. And so you start this petition, it begins to go viral. You don't really have the campaigning, advocacy and lobbying support to actually get it to create change or at the very least be heard by a decision maker. Right. And so what we do at change is we give you that capacity. We come in and we help you with the campaigning. We help you with the communication angles you need to have. We help you out with this is how. This is how you navigate parliament. If your petition is, you know, something that you want to be to contest a bill or to be part of a bill. Or we'll tell you this is how you need to navigate media if you need media attention. Um, And so basically we put in the machinery behind specific petitions that we feel have potential for policy change or at the very least to be heard. That's what we aim for. At the very least we'd like you to be heard by the decision maker. That's crazy. So you're not just some website or, 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 or mailing service. You you actually, you, you check the petitions, the request for petitions, you vet them. Yes. And then you push and uh, support them if you believe in them. If there's capability for policy change, if it has a lot of national interest or county interest. Okay. So we can see that. How, how exciting is that? Like, but, but why... So if you don't believe in something so, as an organization, you'll still push it. Oh, sorry. Not as an organization. Okay, I phew. meant, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's one of those things where if you're looking at it and yeah. so I, I took as believe in it in terms of personal, but no, no. <laughs> as an organization, yes, definitely. We do have certain principles oh, um, and values that said, it's really about what are people interested in? Is this something of national interest? Is this something of county interest? Is this something that... And it doesn't always have to be targeted towards the government. Sometimes you'll find that it's targeted towards a corporation. Um, or one of the funniest ones I came across uh, that was about getting witch doctors to be witch Kenyan politicians so that they don't steal, which I found yes! hilarious. <laughs> Did you approve that petition? Is it still going? I mean, it doesn't have the imp- the uh, sort of the dynamics for policy change, but it was just one uh, of those things. It's one of those things in the job where you get to see people's um, people's thoughts. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the psyche. Sort of, yeah, the psyche, and it's just fun to see.